Hello, here are the homework solutions for the review 6.9 to 6.11. Okay, again, as always, as you're viewing these solutions, you should have completed the homework and using this as a resource for if you got stuck, please feel free to fast forward to the appropriate place and problem. All right, so we're starting off with uh, Sokotoa. Solve for x, round your answers to four decimal places this time. So from this angle, x, we have the adjacent and opposite, that's a tangent. Tangent of x is 9 over 3. So x is inverse tangent of 9 over 3. I am just going to set these up and, uh, and leave the punching into the calculator for you because I think the majority of the time it's the issue of typing into the calculator, or the setting up is the problem. Typing stuff into the calculator generally isn't the issue. If it is an issue, please take a picture of what you've typed into your calculator and email it to me so I can um, see if I can figure out what the problem is. For this 11, we have the adjacent and opposite. So that's adjacent, oh, I'm sorry, adjacent and hypotenuse. That's cosine. So we'll have cosine of 11 is adjacent 10 over x. x is 10 divided by cosine of 11. Oh, maybe I will do these just to make sure that my answer key is correct. Let's do inverse tangent. Seventy-one point five six five. Where's the answer key? Seventy-one point five six five one. Yep. And how about this one? Ten divided by cosine eleven. Ten point one eight seven two. Yes. All right. Number three. Um, from here. We have adjacent and hypotenuse, that's a cosine. So x is inverse cosine of 20 over 32. 51.3178. Yep. Degrees. Degrees. Number four. Um, let's see. From the 48, this is opposite and hypotenuse. That's a sine. X over 18. So X is 18 sine 48. 13.5. For number five, from the angle, there's opposite and adjacent, that's a tangent. Multiply by 25. 5.7717. Yep. Um, from this x, we have opposite and hypotenuse. That's a sine opposite 5 over 16. x is 18.5. 209, oh boy, two, I'm going to write it out, 18.20995. So if we run a round of four decimal places, that five is making that nine round up, which makes that nine round up, which makes that zero round up. So this is 18.2100. Yes. Okay, number seven down here. Oh, now this one we have to find a bunch of stuff. Uh, angle G I can find right off the bat. That's 87. 
Now, let's find GI. Let me call that one X and IH. Let me call that one Y. So, using the information that's given from this 3 degrees, X is the opposite and the 52 is the hypotenuse that's a sine. So, sine of 3 degrees is X over 52. X is 52 sine 3. 2.7215 and that was GI. Let me check before I go too far and make sure it's Yep. 51.92. Okay, I just <laughs> looked at the other answer too, so I know if I do it right when I do it here in a moment. Let me find um, HI, which is Y. Again, from this three degrees, we have adjacent. And the hypotenuse, that's a cosine. Cosine of 3 is y over 52. So y is 52 cosine 3 degrees. 51.9287. 51. Point nine two eight seven. Okay, some of you might be wondering why I put a plus zero here. I realized when I typed the parentheses, somehow I accidentally, and then afterwards I went to, must have tried to hit enter, but I hit the plus instead. So rather than go back and delete, I just hit plus zero because adding zero to something doesn't change its value. So that's why that plus zero is on there because I meant to hit enter, but I hit the plus and I didn't want to go back and delete. Um, so yeah, it's just faster for me to type a zero and then hit enter. All right, number eight. Let's see. Um, find x, y. Let's use Pythagorean theorem, and I'm going to call that a C up here. Um, 15 squared plus 18 squared equals that C squared. 15 squared is 225. 18 squared is 324. When I add those, I get 549. So C is the square root of 549. 23.4307. Let's check. Number is eight. Um, uh oh, I got x y is seven point eight one zero two. Well, my answer key. There is no way that that can be right because um, this has to be the hypotenuse has to be the longest side. So I don't know what I did for that one, but that's wrong. It should be twenty three point four three zero seven. Oops. All right, let's see if I can get angle X right. What did I have for angle X? I had 50.1944. So angle X, so if I find this one with the 18 and 15, that's opposite and adjacent, that's going to be a tangent. Tangent of X is 18 over 15. Inverse tangent, 18 over 15. Crush fingers. Fifty point yes. X is fifty point one nine four four. And then Y is just ninety minus that. And thirty nine point eight oh five six. Moving on, next page. 
We have to solve these triangles, so we're going to have to draw some triangles first. I'm going to go ahead and draw all three of them right off the bat so I have everything set up. Oops, my geometer slipped. Sorry about that. All right, let's see. C is 90 degrees. A, A is 37. Side B is 18. Side B is 18. So what do we need to find? Let's put an answer box down here. We need to find angle B. We need to find side A and side C. All right, angle B we can find quickly. 90 minus 37 is 53. Okay, now let's find side A from the 37, that's opposite, and the 18 is adjacent, so tangent of 37 is A over 18, so A is 18 tangent 37, 13.5640. Okay, cross your fingers, I'm checking my answer key. Oh, I said three decimal places. That's cool. Five, six, four. Okay. Um, all right, let's set up to find for side C from, again, the 37. We have adjacent and hypotenuse. That's cosine. Cosine 37 is 18 over C. C is 18 divided by the cosine of 37. I did type it in my calculator over here, 22.538. Are we good? 22.538, yes. Okay. Number 10. Uh, let's see. C is 90. Side A is 46, angle A is 51. We will then need to find side B and side C and angle B. So answer box, angle B, side B, side C. Angle B, again, we can get quickly, 90 minus 51 is 39. I don't know if you can hear my dog groaning in the background. He's that standard poodle and his ears are itching. So he's rubbing his ears up against the couch and he's going, Rrr. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Um, side B then. Let's see, from 51, B is adjacent and 46 is opposite. So that's a tangent. 46 over B, B is 46 over tangent 51. I'm going to go ahead and set the other one up so I can plug them both into the calculator at the same time. Uh, to find C opposite and hypotenuse, that's a sine. 51 is 46 over C, so C is 46 over sine 51. Divided by sine 51, and that is C is 59.191, and then A, 46 divided by the tangent of 51, is 37.250. 
Let me check. The number is 10. B is 39. Side B, 37.250. Side C, 59.191. Yes. Last one of these type, number 11, C is 90, side A is 3, side B is 4. We'll need to find side C as well as angle A and angle B. Side C is easy on this one. You should recognize it in a right triangle, 3, 4, the hypotenuse, 3, 4, 5. So C is 5. Let's find angle A. So using the three and four opposite and adjacent, that's a tangent, is three over four. So A is inverse tangent of three fourths. which is 36.869, but that eight's gonna make that round at 36.870. Let's check. Yes. Then B, quickly, we can get that by 90 minus that. And that is 53.130. Okay. Um, moving on to the word problems. Draw a picture, set up an equation. Remember your units, round your answer to the nearest thousandth, so three decimal places. All right, Carrie places a 10-foot ladder against a wall. If the ladder makes a 65-degree angle with level ground, how far up the wall does the top of the ladder reach? All right, so I'm going to draw a right triangle here because assuming the building is built perpendicular to the ground, Here's the ground, here's the wall, and here's the ladder. Okay, Carrie places a 10-foot ladder, so 10-foot ladder against a wall, okay? The ladder makes a 65-degree angle with level ground. The ladder and the ground, where do they make the angle? That's right here, that's 65. And how far up the wall does, oops, does the top of the ladder reach? So I want that distance right there. From the 65, that's opposite. And the 10 is the hypotenuse, so that's a sine. Sine of 65 is opposite, x over 10. x is 10, sine 65. That is 9.063 uh, feet. 9.063 score. All right, last one on this page. A flagpole casts a 15-foot shadow. I'm going to draw a right triangle again, and I'm using number five. I've just turned the geometer sideways. We have a flagpole. Here's the flag. Um, flagpole casts a 15-foot shadow. Shadows are on the ground, 15. The angle of elevation to the sun at this time is 40 degrees. 40 degrees. How tall is the flagpole? Right there. From that 40, that's opposite and adjacent. So we have tangent is x, the opposite, over 15. So x is 15 tangent 40. Twelve point five eight six. Yes. And there's the flagpole, twelve point five eight six feet. 
Okay. Last problem here. An airplane is descending as it approaches the airport. If the angle of depression from the plane to the ground is 7 degrees and the plane is 2,000 feet above the ground, what's the distance from the plane to the airport? Okay, here's the plane up here. I am not going to begin to try and draw a plane. I'm just going to write plane. It is descending. It is approaches the airport. If the angle of depression from the plane to the ground is 7 degrees. Again, be very careful. It's not this one. Angle of depression is here. It's between looking straight out, how much you have to depress your head to look down. 7 degrees. Oh, but we know the angle of depression and the angle of elevation are the same thing. So that puts a 7 down here. The plane is 2,000 feet above the ground. What is the distance from the plane to the airport? Now, distance from the plane. Where's the plane? Here's the airport. I want that distance. Not the horizontal distance, but I want the actual distance between the plane and the airport. So, um, let's see. From the 7, we have opposite and hypotenuse. That's a sign. Sine of 7 is 2,000 over x. So x is 2,000 divided by sine of 7. And that's 16. Uh-oh. How did I get that one over there? 2,000 feet, 16, 280, I don't know, mine's right now. 2,000 divided by sine of 7, x is 16411.018 feet. Hmm, I'm just going to try something real quick. I'm done. I just want to see if I can figure out what's wrong with this. So if you're interested, um, that's all I'm doing is doing 16, 288. 0.693 times sine 7, 925. Nope. Um, let's do 2,000 divided by sine 8. Maybe I had an 8. Nope. Sine 9. Nope. I don't know. I give up. I, I don't know what I did. So that answer is correct. All right. Thank you very much. Hope to see you soon. Bye.